Hey guys, welcome back to One More Push. And today I want to talk about importing an FBX into Unreal Engine 5.3. So one of the first hurdles that I had with when learning Unreal Engine is importing 3D models from different applications into Unreal. For example, a few weeks ago I developed a scene including Stick Stickly in Blender. And I, I saved that file as an FBX and I uploaded it to my website, which you can download here on the downloads page. So I'm just gonna download this now. If you haven't been, check out uh, onemorepush.wordpress.com slash downloads. And so far there's two things here, but I'm gonna keep adding to this. Once you have your FBX downloaded, hop over to Unreal Engine and let's activate the Datasmith plugin. So go to Edit Plugins, type in FBX, and you'll see right here, Datasmith FBX Importer. Click that checkbox and then restart your engine. Datasmith just simplifies our import of an FBX file. So all we have to do is double check and make sure that the importer is installed and it is, the checkbox is blue, so we're good to go. Let's close that out. With our Datasmith FBX importer activated, all you have to do is go over to your content drawer. I always like to make a folder for 3D assets, so I'm gonna make one now. New folder. I'll just call it 3D, open that up, and click Import. Now we can go to our Downloads folder, select Stickly, and click Open. So here we're gonna get a pop-up, and it asks what we wanna do. Do we want to import the skeletal mesh, build a nanite, generate missing collisions, etc.? So there's transform options, um, there's a lot of options here that I'm not going to get into today. I'm just going to click import all and keep our default settings. And when that's complete, you can navigate over to our 3D folder and you can see all of our materials and our meshes have been imported. So how do we get this into our scene? Okay, you can see here this has all of our materials and all of our geometry. So you can click this down arrow to filter just our static meshes. And now we can select all. With all of these selected, we can drag this out into our scene. And just like that, we have stick stickly. Obviously this doesn't look entirely right. Part of it is because of the material system in Unreal Engine, they have a proprietary system. So the materials they bring over from Blender don't always transfer one to one. But tune into the next tutorial. I'm gonna show you how you can use free assets to texture custom static meshes in Unreal Engine. Thanks for tuning in to One More Push. If this was helpful, please like, follow, and subscribe, and check back often because there's a lot more to talk about.